The sound of music filling the air in Searcy. The Searcy High School band started practicing this week. They're following state guidelines, but it's making practice a bit challenging. Our Claire Kreitz set in on the practice and shows us how they're marching to the beat of a different drum. It's been five months since students picked up their instruments and all joined together in song. You can definitely say it looks a lot different this year. The new guidelines have created a learning curve even for those seniors, but they do anything to make sure they still get to play. The cases are open. The instruments are out. And the Searcy High School band is now working to play the perfect melody. One, two, three, go. But this year, rehearsals require a little more than sheet music and a stand. It has been a challenge. Band director Tony Luzzi schedules his practices based on instruments. We have woodwinds for two hours, then brass, and then percussion in the afternoon. And percussion gets to rehearse indoors because it does not take air to play their instrument. Then students are spaced a minimum of six feet. Trombones are nine feet, flutes and piccolos, 12 feet. That's what I play, so we have to be more uh, distant than others because the amount of airflow that we're giving out. Olivia Mays is a senior drum major and didn't expect a new set of rules her senior year. It's an adjustment. Maybe the hardest part. Everyone has to have a mask with their instruments. She wasn't the only musician wondering, how in the world am I going to do this? Morgan Ripley is also a senior and plays the clarinet. And the mask has to have a little slit for us to actually put the mouthpiece in. Well, definitely a learning curve. Both Ripley and Mays say practice makes perfect. The more that we do it, the better and easier it gets. They both would rather adapt and adjust than not play at all. It means so much that I get to be the seniors that led all the underclassmen through such a difficult time. Things like football games and performances are still up in the air. The band director says while that would be heartbreaking for those seniors, the most important part is still getting together and playing even if it's in front of an empty stadium. Back to you. Mm.